audio that you just heard was actually a lie. But I'll explain that by the end of the video. For now I'm gonna explain. What in the world is this crazy contraption? This is a kalimba. It's also referred to as a thumb piano for obvious reasons. It has a very calming and soothing characteristic sound, so it's really great for background music. The song you just heard is from Avatar The Lost Airbender. As you know, Avatar is objectively the best show ever made, and this song is played all throughout the series. So I originally wanted to get a kalimba to learn how to play this song. But I'm also very, very lazy. So I decided to make my kalimba play itself. So you play a kalimba by striking down on each metal note with your thumb. So I started researching ways to emulate the movement of the thumb. My first iteration was this leg and foot mechanic, which would stomp down on each note and pivot to reset. It would require a piston to go up and down, and it would primarily play on the downstroke, just like your thumb. But after thinking for a good while on it, I realized that I can play on the upstroke and downstroke with a plastic piece. All I need to do is create extensions for the servo motors that are long enough to reach each note. I began by measuring all the differences in the lengths between each note and the servo thickness as well, and then calculating the exact dimension for each servo arm. After 3D printing this and testing it, I realized that the servos were staggered in the wrong direction and the arc length of the longest one was too large, so everything needed to be redesigned. I needed to first figure out where all of the servos would be mounted and then measure all the correct distances accordingly. So the first step was to design a base that spaces out all the servos in the same distance that the metal notes are spaced, and was also thick enough for the servo to sit upright, accommodating for the mounting bracket tab. Once this was 3D printed, I temporarily taped it down to the kalimba and began hot gluing the servos to the base. This is all still a prototype, so I'm using hot glue in case I need to take this apart later. Now that everything is set in place, I can begin measuring all of the distances required to create the servo arms. I took some foam board and marked all the distances and then later measured those with dial calipers to get an exact measurement. Using these measurements, I was able to design and print proper length servo arms. The next step was to hot glue all the servo arms at the correct distances and then wire everything up. Once I confirmed that I could play something simple as the C major scale, it was time to start making music. So this is the portion of the video where I would plug a sponsor if I had one, but I'm way too small of a channel to get there yet. So instead I'm going to plug a channel that I really like. Uh, the name is Winter Garden or Winter Gotten. I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, his marble machine and his whole channel in general is an inspiration um, and was my inspiration for this automatic kalimba. So go check out his channel after this video. The link is in the description. It's incredible. He's remaking a bigger and better version of his marble machine. I firmly believe that the marble machine X will be finished. And uh, as a tribute to him, I programmed my self-playing kalimba to play part of his marble machine song. I'm missing an F sharp, so I had to change that note, but other than that, it works pretty well. So in the very beginning of this video, I mentioned that there was a lie in the audio. In fact, this is what the actual audio from my phone sounds like. So you can hear that there's a loud kind of hissing from the servo, and that's because these servos are made of plastic, so they the plastic gears mesh together and created this loud hissing noise, as well as I think they have bad lubrication inside of them. So the way that I got around this was to add my lapel mic to the bottom sound hole of the kalimba, so that it would filter out some of the servo noise and retain the majority of the kalimba noise. If you have any suggestions on how to make servos quieter, please leave them in the comments below. I've been trying to research how to make them not make as much noise. And then to further process the noise, I also put the audio through Audacity and used the servo as the noise profile so I can filter out that specifically and retain all the kalimba sound. In the upcoming weeks, I actually wanted to add more to this project. Right now, all I can do is play 10 notes 
and I had to program in all the melody and timing in by hand. In the future, what I want to do is add more servos so I can play all 17 notes, as well as create code to read in MIDI files and play the audio according to those MIDI files in real time. Additionally, I wanted to add an enclosure to the servos to dampen the sound. I heard that adding uh, sound dampening foam would probably help a lot, as well as I'll try out lubrication. I'll try both methods out and report back on how well they work. If you have any suggestions or comments on how to better dampen the sound of servos, please leave them in the comments below. I greatly appreciate that because I've been researching a bunch and this is all I've found so far. So in order to end the video, since it's Christmas, I'll play one more song. It'll be a Christmas song. Um, happy holidays. Thanks for watching and peace.